Hi Capricorn and welcome to your uh, weekly reading. This is from uh, July 10th to the 16th. Uh, so a lot of you are saying, hey, I come, uh, we can't see you. Well, uh, what happened is that during this uh, super full moon in uh, your sign, <laughs> uh, a couple of days later, I woke up with my mouth being swollen. And uh, so, well, that's, what, that's why you're seeing the video in this way. Um, my swelling did most of it go down but I'm still like uh, in the process of healing it so um, so I and I'm, and that's why I'm coming in uh, tonight to finish uh, off the readings okay so um, this is from July 10th to the 16th and at the same time my nail broke <laughs> what else could go wrong right anyways uh, so whenever you get to see this Capricorn uh, will be the right time for you that's why it's also called a timeless reading Anywhere that you have Capricorn in your chart, this is your reading. So I do want to give a shout out to, um, you know, to my soul sister, Sarah. Thank you for a fantastic weekend. And also to a, another soul sister of mine, Luciana, uh, who is also a Capricorn. The whole weekend, actually, I had all Cap Capricorn people around me, uh, which is amazing. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. So we're going to get uh, started with your reading, okay? Okay, let's see what's going on here for you. So you got uh, the resting uh, tree, patience and stillness. Number 22 in numerology. Oh, yeah. You know, um, a lot of you are healing at this time, uh, taking time out to rest maybe. Um, it's also, a, you know, in a sense of, I feel that, well, you are a ground energy, you know, like meaning like you're grounded. So there's a lot of time of healing for, in that. it's about having patience or stillness. Some of you are practicing on your patience at, at this time, practicing to stay in the moment. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to take a, an extra card here. From the cosmic insight now Sarah always tells me Patricia why is it that we're always last it's not that you're last I I go with the, I start always with the Aries and I go down you know down the the line until Pisces you know you're not last I'm just going with the flow Anyways, a shout out to Sarah. Amazing soul. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's look at the cosmic insight. What is the message that's coming in for you? So I hope that you enjoyed the portal 777. I'm recording this on the, the next day. Let's see. Give it time. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. That's a beautiful card for you. Yes. And now we're going to take a card from um, Star Seed Oracle to see what else is a message for you. I know. I did notice that a lot of people uh, were telling me that. Uh, on the 7-7 seven, seven, uh, portal that we had uh, on Friday, a lot of people did not sleep. I, I was one of them, of course. Uh, I tried to sleep. I tried to do, uh, do everything. It was, nothing was working. <laughs> uh, but uh, when I got to uh, go out today, uh, everyone was telling me, oh, you know, I didn't sleep last night. You know what was going on in the stars. So I had to tell people. Okay, let's see from the Star Sea Oracle family. You got two that came through. So, um, first one is uh, Breath of the Cosmos. My will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. What a beautiful card. Breath of the Cosmos. Then you got Lifting the Veil. Questioning everything, anything unaligned, Capricorn must go. Beautiful. Okay, so um, we're gonna get started with your reading. 
I'm going to put these cards here and after I will show them to you at the end of the reading again. So we're going to look at uh, what's going on with the cards here. Hold on a second. Okay, so I, I have the cards upside down. All right. <laughs> All righty. We're going to look at uh, your recent past, the current energy, and the immediate future. What is hidden from you and uh, the outcome? And then I will clarify the cards for you. Now, if you feel that my voice is low and, uh, you know, I'm not like very jittery. <laughs> it's cause, uh, also, it's because I didn't sleep yet. <laughs> you know, since last night was very tough in sleeping. But it's also because my mouth also is, uh, I might talk a bit differently because my mouth is a bit swollen, okay? Okay. The cards are ready. Oh boy, that card went flying. Oh, let me see. You got the Queen of Pentacles. There we go, the Queen of Pentacles. You've been nurturing yourself, or you will be nurturing yourself. It's also about your finances. Okay. Being ground. Good business aspect of you, or yourself, victory, success. Okay, what else can you see? Oh. With the Two of Cups. That is your challenge, is the Two of Cups. A lot of you have been focused on your finances. But there is a two of cups in energy showing up and this could be anybody in your life it could be an aspect of yourself right it could be someone coming in all depends you know um There's a sense of um, vulnerability here. You've got the Three of Pentacles and the current energy. I don't know if I could fit everything in. I have to look at the camera after. The Page of Wands. Oh, I like this. You're following your heart. Definitely following your heart. Let me see if I could just... And I'm sorry for the lighting. I know. I don't like doing readings like this anymore, honestly. I don't know how I did them before like this, but... But I have no choice right now. And then the last card is I'm going to put them here. Because if not, you won't see it. So hold on, let me just do it differently. Hold on, if I see if I could do it like this instead. Okay. The strength card can be reversed. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. Okay. Look at that. Three, three. Nice. Okay. The challenge could be this two of cups and energy, right? I see collaboration, teamwork. I see uh, a strong foundation. Maybe some of you are not finding the strength in the situation here, or you're having a hard time. Or you could also mean there's a sense of being vulnerable, opening up to your vulnerability, to your heart. Uh, something is definitely coming in divine timing here for you. Uh, you've been seeing the signs, you've been feeling it. I do feel that there's positive news when it comes to uh, there's positive news when it comes to your probably your finances. Maybe for some of you, you're gonna get good news about something here. Uh, it doesn't only have to be about that. It could be uh, because there is there could be someone coming in here. There could be love, or this is you envisioning uh, going towards uh, towards a path of opening up your perspective about love okay um and following your heart of course with the moon card some of you could be dealing with a pisces it doesn't have to be 
uh, but uh, or cancer and cancerian energy but uh, even though uh, you know you feel that something is unknown here because the moon doesn't make you see right right away there could be like a sense of like something is not what it seems or whatever or you're there's a, a sense of feeling un, um, in the unknown here um, with the three of wands here you've been waiting for your manifestations to come in definitely number 33 is very strong here in your energy and the card the star card um, this is a wish that's going to be granted something that you wished upon I do feel in a sense here that there could be love for you Capricorn in any shape way or form it has something to do with your finances here okay because you've been manifesting and it, it's showing up and it's about maintaining the hope and faith you need to keep the faith strong and believe that it's coming towards you so we are going to clarify the cards okay and see what else is going on for you hopefully by next week I could come back and do my readings in the way that I usually do them so again many apologies for you guys to watch the video like this but I could not you know like go to sleep with knowing that I still have to give you a reading in Aquarius and of course Pisces remember your last but not least okay okay let's let's look at this let's look at the Queen of Pentacles Queen and King of Pentacles. Now, this could be you embodying this, okay? From the Queen, you went to the King where there's prosperity here. Because the Two of Cups for me doesn't only represent about love, it could be about like within you, your divine masculine, divine feminine, right? Could be anybody here. Could be some type of contract that's coming in for work or around work, okay? And I see that a lot of you have been putting a lot of time and energy into yourself. So you've got the Queen and the King and the Nine of Pentacles here. For those of you that are single, there could be someone coming in in a partnership in any shape, way, or form. You've been putting a lot of time and energy into yourself, in your self-worth, okay? And you're able to take time off if you want. And I do see prosperity here. I see a good, to, uh, I see, you know, like good business people, you know, like, uh, um, but there is prosperity. And uh, this, these are amazing cards. I don't know how I'm going to, well, anyway, so we'll put... Uh, the king of pentacles here we go and there's a, a good message coming in there's a message positive messages coming in with the page of wands here it's the beginning of something that's very passionate to your heart and you've been manifesting this right so there's prosperity with the king and queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles a lot of earth energy force virgo or capricorn let's look at the page of wands there's a new beginning that's taking place for you. It's about taking a leap of faith. Remember that you're going through a transition and there's better times coming in, especially when, you know, you've been through uh, a lot here, okay? Um, like I said, you've been through a lot. Uh, some of you uh, could be going on vacationing, you could be vacation vacationing or relocating, but most of it, it's a, a transitioning. You're going through a transition here. In terms of your uh, prosperity uh, in terms of uh, this new beginning that's uh, in divine timing that's coming for you uh, like I said better times are coming ahead and there will be an unexpected message coming in okay so there is an unexpected message okay, um, okay let's look at the two of cups cups right here it's a wish fulfillment with the nine of cups for some of you this could be um, a business uh, could be a marriage or the way you think about the traditional things here 
could be anything. It could also be, be about, you know, some of you may be healers out there or you're doing some type of work. It's about choosing the higher road here in the situation. You could have a Taurus coming in, uh, okay, as well for some of you. But there's something about this energy that it's, it, it is very slow moving. But at the same time, it's about um, just some type of, like, it could be anything here, okay? Like I said, something long term that's taking place after a time of obstacles after a time of obstacles where a lot of times uh some you know it could be some of you were unhappy um in terms of your relationships whatever it is there was maybe unhappiness this could be a marriage for some of you it doesn't have to be but like i said here look at that. there's a wish fulfillment um the the journey you've done the journey the 10 becomes a one there's a new start for you okay and in terms of uh with this, there's a wish fulfillment that's coming in. Let's look at this Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Now, this could be uh, someone coming towards you, or this is you navigating through the through the energy of the moon, right? Because uh, a lot of you still have fears of not trusting uh, someone or being very discerned here, uh, and you have to navigate through that, okay? And trust your intuition. Let's look at the Knight of Cups. Three of Swords, the, hair, the Emperor reversed, the Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay. In terms of uh, maybe a connection or something that to do with business or it could be uh, love, whatever this was here for you, I feel that some of you have to put, um, you, you went through, I don't feel that this is you right now, that maybe you're, maybe some of you are healing, you're still going through a healing process, that's for sure, right? Uh, but I feel here that you overcame, uh, some of you are going to be overcoming, okay? Or you will overcome, okay? Um, a sense of uh, feeling abandoned or ghosted in a situation, uh, maybe feeling gaslighted, whatever it was here that made you feel that you lacked up, there's something here that's shifting around. But what they're saying here is that you need to follow your heart. So I feel that this is being healed. It's important to put boundaries up at this time. Okay, so it's very important to put boundaries up. Your boundaries have to be put up. That's what uh, it's being said. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at the strength reversed. Why is the strength reversed? Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Wands. It's a sense of trusting. Um, you're feeling stuck. You're probably in your head a lot about things. You know, you're over, maybe you're overthinking about things. Uh, you're not sleeping at night, okay? And um, uh, I, I feel for some of you uh, while you're uh, navigating, okay? While, uh, you know, maybe some of you don't have the strength or the courage at this time or uh, not able to be uh, vulnerable at this time or that's a sense of vulnerability and how to do this, right? Because... I feel that the people are coming around you at this time, whoever this is, okay? If it's a fire sign, there's something here that um, you have to look at the patterns in yourself first, okay? Capricorn, it's very important to, like, if you don't trust people, uh, well, uh, what is it? Is there an aspect of yourself that you do not trust? Do you not trust yourself in a, a particular situation? I also feel here that people that are coming in, at this time they're not solid okay they're not solid they want to have fun they want to be adventurous they want to you know go out there but there's a sense here that uh someone here is feeling um you know like there's no like there's i feel some how do i say it sorry uh it's almost like you some of you lost faith or hope that a situation will take place here okay in the uh, with uh, where whatever this is you know, maybe offers that are coming in right now are not solid, you know, in the way that you want them to. Uh, there's something here that you need to be still and you need to be patient about as you go through your healings, as you uh, let go of patterns, okay? Because there is like sense of fear that's attached to this, okay? There's fear here. So let's look at the moon. Why is the moon here? star you're being guided the three of pentacles so we have three 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 and judgment 
There could be an offer coming in, okay? Could, this could be work or anything. It has could be with your finances or some type of offer that's coming in or an apology from someone. But in whatever the case is here, it's like you are being divinely guided, okay? There is a wish that's going to be granted. I see cooperation, cooperation, teamwork, a solid foundation. And then there is a judgment that you have to make. But you remember, you're going through the moon, okay? And with the moon, there could be, like I said, there could be feelings of... Um, that something is not what it seems or there could be deception or feeling discerned and it's important to take a step back and be still right and uh just to see the whole situation in, from a different lens okay as you move forward and that when you're not if you're nav get navigating through this okay through this journey let's look at the three of pentacles got the eight of wands the world that's beautiful and the lovers wow wow and you also got the empress here okay in a sense uh now uh for some of you now this you know whenever i say something i never want uh, you capricorns to take it the wrong way okay uh, because some people need to hear it not everybody needs to but some people need to hear some things here you know it's uh, like um in the sense that the empress is here it's like when you call out okay the empress does not chase okay she puts her manifestations out there. She works on herself. She's very creative. She's everything. This is about having the mind as such. Maybe at one point for some of you, you try to control a situation too much here. And it's saying it's, and you know, maybe at one point you were heartbroken because something in your expectations or the way that you want something did not come in. Maybe some of you were ghosted, left in the dark that caused a lot of pain, but you are working on towards opening that heart again here okay it's it is showing up here for me and there's something coming back here to you okay there is something like the universe the universe wants you to open your heart and be vulnerable here okay like i said there's teamwork could be around work this okay it doesn't have to be could be around your work but whatever it is here you got the eight of wands the world the lovers you're going to the next level okay in terms of uh your um community maybe uh business uh uh, or maybe uh, people that you uh, network with whatever it is you're going to the next level in everything okay I see that in terms of your money I see that also in terms of love you are gonna follow even though it may be scary ahead to open that heart of yours to navigate through that you are being divinely guided here so congratulations you're going to the next level okay there's a success and victory some of you might be traveling messages are going to be coming in things you're going to be more busier okay you're going to see there's a sense of busyness okay and uh things are going to get starting things will start getting aligned here and uh, there is a there's a, there is a beautiful connection here there's definitely a soul connection here and you do have to make choices okay now the empress she puts everything out there she does her life right he or she she well in, in the energy right they do their life and they don't worry about whatever has to come in they know that it will come in okay so uh you so a lot of you have to, had to be taught a, a hard lesson and not want not trying to control situations uh, or how it comes in okay because it's not going to be how it comes in you just have to follow through and it's important to remain patient right so let's look at this three of wands you got the star card twice here that's beautiful i, I like also the king and queen of pentacles What's the Three of Wands about? Two of Swords, you're clear of what you want here. There is an offer coming in. Something tangible, could be money, could be something tangible in a person or a choice here. Okay. But um, I feel here is that when the Ace of Wands reversed, showed up here, because you've been through a lot, I feel sometimes maybe that at times, not always, but when you're alone, Capricorn, feel like you're feeling that maybe it's not something passionate that you're okay for some of you uh you lost a sense of passion within yourself okay or um wait a second um some of you are going to choose something more tangible and not what exactly like uh, maybe it's not your passion and what you do in a situation like I don't know if it's work or some type of creative project but you know that it's going to bring a lot of dividends or uh, some type of prosperity prosperity or a blessing because the universe is blessing you with something here 
okay and it's about your manifestations okay so this is beautiful so you've been waiting for something to come in but it's important not to wait for something to come in you know uh, find that inner passion within you okay find that inner passion because there is definitely something coming in here for you and uh, underneath I have the four of wands right there could be a lot of messages and possibilities uh, you have you know you have paths to choose from here and uh, I do see you taking charge and uh, taking your power back there is stability okay less interference here but uh, definitely stability coming in for you let's look at the star and the outcome Queen of Pentacles, here you are again. Page of Pentacles. King of Cups reversed. Okay. There could be an offer coming in. Definitely. It could be about love too. It doesn't have to be just about business. But there could be love here too. Someone here... Um, or this could be you in energy, okay? Keep nurturing yourself. A lot of you are trying to bring... Um, balance within yourself and in, in terms of your emotions uh, maybe you're not really emotionally available maybe you're maybe at this time you're feeling you're not feeling like whole uh, in terms of uh, your emotions okay but i do see you putting a lot of value in yourself okay like i said and showing up in the world uh better in not that you were not better before or good before but just better in, in energy okay um i do see you're an offer coming in I do see an offer coming in 100 percent it could be uh it could be some type of offer a higher paid here whatever this could be okay i'm just going to take an extra card for the king of cups reverse just in case i just want to see here. why is the king of cups reversed here <laughs> yeah you know a lot of you are healing and you are going to heal definitely okay um you're healing uh you know trauma or we will be healing uh it's it's important to remain patient at this time okay um it's about bringing something into moderation it's about healing the patterns because there's patterns here but i do see you healing the patterns and also um yeah there's gonna be a lot of healing that's gonna th yeah the patterns especially the patterns here let me see this uh, devil card because this could be you in energy but definitely healing the patterns of the past of things that you have to go through here okay and patience is needed i do see that you're going to be healing and moving on here that's it's amazing and there could be an apology from someone from the past i don't know who this is but there could be an apology for sure okay that could come in for you Yeah, there's a, like uh, there's regrets or uh, feeling missed opportunities from the past um, in terms of uh, like from the five you went to the six right you, and uh, in the times of this going to this to the five to the six you realized uh, here uh, that uh, what love what love means to you or what um, when uh, you know like especially for, from people of your past year you know uh, what happiness means to you and you have the ten of cups and energy so it's about uh, bringing justice, something into justice, into peace here, okay? And uh, it's about, like, just realizing that sometimes, you know, we all make mistakes. We're all humans, you know. Uh, sometimes we could feel like, uh, you know, um, you know, every experience that we get from an individual or people that come into our lives is just to show us what we've been missing in ourselves all this whole time, right? Um, karmically, you are releasing, um, karmically, you're releasing contracts. You went to the next level. So all of you are already ascending and uh, in the 5D energy here. And uh, something definitely is going to come into balance for you because you've been, you've been doing the healing, been doing the work here. Um, and uh, you know what, what makes you happy. You also got a soulmate energy here. I still have, uh, I, I have the moon card again. Some of you have uh, strong Piscean or Cancerian energy. And I uh, remember you have the resting tree okay uh, this time you need to have patience and be still and give it time okay because everything is in divine timing you can't force a situation to come in but in the meantime you could continue healing live your life be happy be surrounded because you, you i do see that you are surrounded by um you know you're surrounded by good people right 
and then you have also breathe breath of the cosmos you know my will to thy will and last but not least lifting the veil questioning everything and anything that's unaligned capricorn whether it's a person uh, people from your past or if it's uh, patterns or whatever it is has to go so i hope you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon